A lot of the times when you're displaying uh, data to your users, you're going to want to display it in a way that's different than how it's stored in the database. So what I have in this example code here is a for each loop and we're looping over an eloquent collection and we are going to display some data. But each time we display the data, we are going to basically tweak it and display it in a way that's going to be favorable to our users. So in Eloquent, by default, the created at and updated at are instances of carbon. So because they are carbon instances, we can chain on the to format date string method. And this is going to format the date. Uh, we might also be storing some money in our database, so we could be storing that as cents. So we might do something like divide it by 100 and then format it so it only has two decimals and then put a dollar sign in front. In some other cases, we might want to add HTML to our data. So you'll see um, this important thing here is being wrapped in strong, strong tags. And other times we'll want to output an image or a link. So you can see an example of that right here. So you can see the problem here is our view is starting to get quite complicated and quite muddy. We're doing a lot of different things here. We're doing some math. We're dividing by 100. We are um, parsing strings and we're, you know, we might be running some helper functions on strings. So our view is starting to get really complicated and we shouldn't be doing this kind of logic in our view anyways. The view should simply be being passed some data that's already been pre-formatted and it's simply displaying it to the user. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this example code here and let's get into the real code. So within my application, um, we're passing some leads into this view. Remember that this view right here is the view for all of the different um, implementations of my site, all of the different lead types. It is all going to be piped through this single view. So we're first going to loop over all the different leads and then we're going to loop over all the different attributes of the lead. So I need to do this dynamic because many different pages are going to use this view. So I'm going to grab all the attributes here and loop over them. And you'll notice that with the structure I have right here, it's impossible for me to run some helper functions on this data or to format the date because I don't know what I'm looping over here. It's all being done dynamically. However, if we introduce a presenters layer into our application, I'm not going to need to do anything to the code here, but I'm still going to be able to display the data exactly the way I want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull in a package to help us do this. If I pop over to GitHub right here, the package we're going to use is called Laravel Auto Presenter. It's by Sean McCool. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this line right here. Uh, within the require object and we're going to go back into our code open composer.json and you're going to paste that within your require object. The next thing you want to do is pull in this package so you'll go over to your command line and you'll do a composer update and that will uh, pull it down from github and include it within your vendor folder. After you've done that you'll go back over to the github page and what we're going to do is copy this line right here, which we're going to place into our providers array. So let's go back over to the code and we're going to open our config app.php file. And you're going to go into the providers array and you're going to paste that in at the bottom. So after you finish this step, you've totally included um, the package into your application. And I think the next thing we can do is we can go over into our different uh, model files and there's something that we're going to need to add here. So what you're going to do with this package is you're going to need, you're going to add a new public property of your model. Uh, it's called public presenter and you're going to set that to the uh, full namespace um, of your presenter class. So you'll notice that I have my models here um, within this leads entities namespace and I've also uh, renamed the models folder to entities and I've placed that inside my main lease folder uh, just to keep things a bit more organized. So if you look over at my sidebar on the left here, you'll see that I've now placed a presenters folder within the lease folder and inside this folder has all of the different presenters, the FCL presenter, uh, the bulk one. And you'll notice the namespace here um, is the same as the model, so it's also leads entities. Now because the namespace here is leads entities, 
um, it's not leads uh, presenters. I'm not going to be able to use PSR4 to auto load um, these files. So, so all you have to do there is go back into your composer JSON file. You can go into the class map here and then just add that folder right here. And because I renamed my models folder and then I moved into the main leads folder, I was also able to delete the line here um, where the models were being included. One thing that I decided to do was to have my different presenters to extend an abstract presenter. And the reason why I want to do this is because all of my different lead types, they're going to be displaying the created at, which is basically when the lead was posted. And I'm going to want the same formatting for that across all the different lead pages and probably in other parts of my application as well. So these different presenters um, they all extend an abstract presenter. We can open that up. So you'll see that this is an abstract class and all of the different shared functions that I want shared across all the different presenters, I'm putting them inside this abstract class. So if we look at a couple of different methods here, um, one of them is gross weight. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to grab the gross weight. I'm going to concatenate on KGS so the user knows it's kilograms. And I'm also going to run this helper function on it, non-breaking. And what that's going to do is it's going to replace all of the spaces uh, with the commonly seen uh, ampersand, MBSP. And uh, so if we go over to the site, actually, you can, you can see that in action here. You'll see uh, 13 KGS, but the KGS is not breaking down to the next line because we replace the space um, with the non-breaking space. You can also see um, the way the date has been formatted, very easy to read right now. And I also have another function here which is um, which is basically updating how the from city and the to city are being displayed. So one thing that I noticed with my application is that many users were inputting the um, basically the city is being shipped from, the city it's going to. They were putting that all in uppercase. So what I'm going to do about that is I'm first going to check um, if it's been all uppercase, I can just check string to upper city. If that's equal to city, then I know it's in uppercase. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it all to lowercase and then run UC words on it to make the first letter a capital. However, if it wasn't uppercase, I'm just returning the city and we're not making any changes to it. So that's basically all there is to say about presenters. The really nice thing about this is all this different kind of logic. We haven't needed to put it within our view, so our views stay super clean. And we also haven't needed to add this to our models or repositories. So remember that everything that's happening here is related to the presentation layer. So this kind of logic, it does not belong within the repositories or the models because those things should be only concerned with data, not the way data is displayed.